Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be cloning my Windows hard drive uh, for the purpose of updating or upgrading my hard drive. Uh, but I'm also going to be making an image, uh, so I'll be re-imaging my hard drive, I guess, for the purpose of uh, making a backup, right, for archiving it, and uh, also restoring from um, uh, an image uh, that I create. So uh, basically I'll be using this program here on the Windows side called Macrium Reflect, right? And it's a free uh, program. They also had paid versions which do a lot more. Uh, but I'm just going to be doing the two basic uh, simple um, uh, uh, functionality or features that's, uh, that's part of this program here. So uh, the first one, like I said, uh, I'm going to be uh, cloning. So it's going to be making an exact copy of my Windows installation, right? And uh, I'll be cloning it to a new hard drive that I just bought. So I've upgraded my hard drive. And so I'll be, uh, I like the way my Windows is right now. It works fine. All of my programs in there in are installed. So I don't want to have to install my new hard drive and then install all the programs or the operating system uh, and all the programs each one by one. I don't want to have to reinstall everything because it's just kind of a pain Instead making a clone is going to be an exact copy of my hard drive uh, going from one hard drive to another now um, One a couple of things you have to keep in mind. I guess when doing this is that when you have uh, your old hard drive and I actually don't have my new one um, up here yet because it's not formatted but I'm gonna get to that you just have to make sure that uh, the data the amount of data that's in your old hard drive which right now I'm using 165 gigs uh, worth of data uh, you just have to make sure that your new hard drive has at least 165 gigs or I mean has a much uh, as much uh, space as your uh, data is taking up right so um, that's just one thing to consider. All right. Uh, so I have, like I said, I have the new hard drive installed already, but I'm actually going to format it now. So I have to go to computer management, and this is um, the best way, really, to do it. Um, so computer management, you're all you're able to see and look at all of the uh, the uh, disks or hard drives that are plugged in right now, even though uh, Windows does not recognize the disk um, uh, as a formatted drive. It did pick it up and installed the drivers already for my hard drive. Um, when you plug it in or when you first start up uh, Windows, it, it shows that it, it recognizes a new device and installs the drivers for it. Uh, but it doesn't show here as a formatted drive. And if you noticed already, um, when I uh, started up computer management and clicked on disk management here, that uh, it already uh, recognizes that there's a new hard drive now and that it's uh, requesting to uh, initialize it. So you want to choose that. That's the hard drive, disk zero. And uh, master boot record is what you want for the partition table, which is fine. The GOID partition table, that's kind of a Mac related deal. So, uh, but we're going to do master boot record, right? And um, this goes without saying that you should uh, unplug any other hard drives that you have in here because this computer management, disk management uh, utility is very powerful and it could ruin any other hard drives and you don't want to make a mistake of accidentally formatting a drive that has you know, your videos, music, pictures and all that. Uh, I do have two other hard drives in this machine but I went ahead and unplugged them because I've done that before in the past where I've accidentally uh, formatted a hard drive and so you don't want that to happen. I formatted the wrong hard drive and deleted all of my videos that I've downloaded and accumulated. It took me years to do and I've lost it all, right? So you don't want to do that, all right? So unplug whatever it is that you're working on, only plug those drives in, okay? So, uh, here we are at computer management and so this is the new hard drive that I've installed here this is my uh, operating system hard drive as you can see here it's uh, drive C 
and the system reserve that that's a boot partition so that's my main hard drive there you won't be able to do anything to this drive anyways um, but don't try it anyways um, so here's the new hard drive that I have and as you can see it's unallocated and all you know blacked out and not ready to use so what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna click on new simple volume then you click on next and then you click on next again and then uh, you can click on next you don't have to specify anything you don't have to specify anything for here either and so it's formatting it real quick it's not a real format it's just um, reconfiguring everything right so here we have our brand new hard drive empty hard drive here all right so uh, I've already downloaded uh, the Macrium software. What you can do is go to Downloads, click on Free Edition, and then uh, right over here, there's this little button here that says Download Now. It'll take you to CNET, and then you'll click on Download Now. It'll start to download. There it is right there. But through the magic of television, I've already got it here on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and run. It's going to install. Uh, just click on next and install. And this should take uh, a few minutes. And we're done. So we'll click on finish. Okay, so now we're going to start up Macrim Reflect. So right now it's going to analyze the hard drives and the partitions that's installed here. And this may come up for you saying, uh, asking you to create rescue media. We're not going to do that right now. We'll do that later. Um, so for now I'll just hit no. Right. So here we're presented with our two hard drives that we have. And so when you select them, each one, it'll come up with some options here. And so we can either clone the disk or image the disk. And for right now, we're going to clone the disk. And so this is my main hard drive here that my operating system is installed. It's uh, 465 gigs, 500 gigs roughly. And then uh, right here is the uh, new empty hard drive that I have. So I want to clone my um, 500 gig hard drive here. So I'll just click on this. And uh, these are the partitions. Um, the system reserve that's the boot partition and uh, C is the uh, primary or the Windows uh, partition right so you can either selectively choose one or the other um, but we're gonna have all of them selected and then once you uh, do that then you'll click on clone disk and then we're gonna click on uh, select disk to clone to so that's going to be our destination and there's only one hard drive uh, plugged in one other hard drive plugged in here, so I'm gonna choose that um, That's the only option to choose there right and then uh, what you want to click on is copy selected partitions These are the selected partitions, right? And so we're going to copy the selected partitions to uh, the new hard drive right and then because I have if you notice here it wants to copy the 500 gigs onto my 700 gigs and I've got an extra 232 gigs left over I want to expand that so make sure that you have the uh, second partition here right the larger partition selected not not your system reserve here but your uh, 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 main partition that you have here the one that's connected to the empty space here right Make sure that's highlighted and you'll see a little blue line underneath here. You'll click on clone partition properties and then you'll see this little slider bar now, right? So that means that you can expand uh, the hard drive space and use up all of the space um, that was extra and that was left over. So we'll slide the bar all the way over and then click on OK. Now we're using the maximum size of the hard drive. And then we'll click on next. And so uh, I don't want to hit finish quite yet um, because I'm recording on this computer and I need to export this video first or I need to send out this video or save this project uh, because you don't necessarily want to be using your computer while it's imaging or while it's copying um, because you don't want to write new data to uh, your new hard drive or while it's trying to copy you might have a hiccup there might be a problem something might not copy over or whatever so 
Uh, don't be working on any Word documents or any video projects or anything like that while this is cloning or copying stuff over. Just leave the computer. Um, my computer should take about an hour and this is about 165 gigs. Um, so however big your hard drive is, it'll probably take, you know, longer or shorter. Um, so uh yeah so that's pretty much it and uh what i'm gonna do after this is done is that i'm gonna boot into uh my new hard drive and so i'll show that and then i'll be um formatting my old hard drive and um then imaging again making a backup but this time but then i'll be making a, an image of it so uh i'll be back and um we'll continue on from there All right, so the process is complete, and uh, what I did was just restarted um, my computer, and I in the BIOS I had to choose the new 750 gig hard drive as my first boot device, my primary boot device, because I remember there's two hard drives in here now that has Windows 7 on it. They're exact copies of each other. Um, that's just my particular case. You would probably take out the hard drive, the old hard drive or whatever, and do what you will with it or whatever. But uh, as you can see here, here is my uh, 700 gig partition there. And then a small uh, system reserve. That's just the, uh, the uh, partition. I think it's part of this... Um, 500 gig hard drive here so it shows up as two hard drives normally in in windows you don't see the system reserve belonging to the main operating system here so that's why you see these two so i'm going to go ahead and format my old hard drive here going back to uh computer management and uh, i'm just going to go ahead and format that and then i'm going to um start up macrim reflect again and then do a uh Reimaging, so I'm gonna reimage uh, my system. Um, so I'll just go ahead and choose this, delete volume, and delete volume. Your particular case, you probably aren't gonna go through this. Um, I'm just going through it, and I apologize for making you watch me uh, format my hard drive here. <laughs> All right. So that's all said and done. I've just formatted my old hard drive. And then I'm going to start up Macrim Reflect again. Actually, I probably should rename this. I'm going to rename it. I'll call it uh, 500 gig storage, whatever it is you want to name it. Right. Oh, let me restart Macrium because it has to reread the names. Um, I'm probably going to create this later on, not now. All right. So this disk here, I want to make an image. Image this disk. Right. So what it's going to do is it's going to copy my entire hard drive. But it's not going to clone it and copy it onto another hard drive uh, with all the files loose and everything like that. Um, making an exact copy of everything and using the drive. Uh, this, an image, is basically going to take the entire hard drive, everything that's on my hard drive, and then packing it into one single file, right? So it's going to be one giant file that is my entire hard drive here, right? All of this data right here packed into one file right and then you would just take that file and you would store it and back it up and save it whatever so uh, a typical scenario um, a tip for you all out there that might uh, think about doing this is that when you set up a brand new um, computer and you've installed Windows uh, your Windows operating system all the updates you've spent all that time downloading all the updates You've installed your Office programs, your Adobe programs, your whatever programs, your games and all that. You've installed everything and you configured everything perfect and nice and beautiful, pristine condition, 
virus free and all that brand spanking new operating system right you did all that this is good to do um, to have in case something goes wrong you know later on down the line and uh, you want to uh, reinstall everything start from fresh um, and you'll have your operating system here with all of your all of your programs already installed so you don't have to do it all over again right so that's just uh, one typical scenario um, alright so let's get started we're going to click on image this disk right it's gonna ask you uh, the source it's my main hard drive here and then it's gonna ask you well where do you want to put it right so if you click on this ellipsis there's little three dots here you could choose and I happen to be using my hard drive here and I can make a new folder in the hard drive and give it a you know the today's date or something right so click on OK um, I'll just save it straight to the drive you could also choose to burn it to DVDs although it would take a whole lot of DVDs right and then uh, alternative locations what do you have here um, oh, okay so alternative locations just basically means that you can specify other places if that first place isn't there right so it goes in this order so let's say for example I had an external drive and it was called drive F and I uh, you know first set this up um, to try to save it to the F drive and then uh, later on um, because you can save your whole uh, operation here you can save your whole settings and your whole process you could save it and run it again later um, let's say for example that later on I run it again my F drive isn't there anymore I can specify okay well if the F drive isn't there then save it to another drive um, you know G drive or something or X drive or whatever right so that's that and uh, I don't really need this so I'm gonna just skip the alternative locations and this is the let's see use the image ID as the file name right so your the that giant file that's gonna it's gonna make is gonna be called this uh, it's gonna give it some number and then dash zero zero dash zero zero or whatever dot m r i m g right maximum reflex reflect reflect image um, yeah so I'll click on next uh, let's see what the advanced options are meh don't need this oh you can specify the uh, amount of uh, compression right so a high compression means it's gonna take longer to unpack so just consider that if you want and then exact copy of the partition it's um, let's see yeah, just leave it at uh, intelligence sector copy. File size, automatic, and, uh, and you can specify to shut down after this is done. So the advanced settings, just you can just leave it stock standard, All right? Okay, so here's a couple of options that allows you to do. You can run the backup now, right? Uh, but let's say you don't want to run the backup now. Let's say you want to run it later. Well, you can save it as an XML file, and uh, you can actually um, open up. Well, I'll, I'll do it later. But you can open up that XML file in Macrium, and it will run the process that you've configured everything. So you've told this to make you know backups of something. So this is also uh, ties in with the whole scheduling a backup so let's say every month you want it to back up your entire hard drive and you want it to save somewhere well it would use this XML file uh, to do all that right so the XML file is basically your config file all of the settings the way you set up uh, Macrum Reflect to back up certain parts of your hard drive or your whole hard drive or to clone the thing or to image the, uh, make an image file and stuff like that and then uh, you would specify where so the default right here is uh, my user and then in the documents folder and the reflex folder and then it's called my backup.xml and you can probably put you know backup one or main backup or primary backup whatever so I'll click on OK 
and that's pretty much it it's uh, making an image and again you probably don't want to be doing stuff on your computer while it's doing this and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, stop the video now and then the next thing I'll do is uh, I'm going to restore this image um, that I'm creating right now back on uh, from my old 500 gig which is where I'm putting my image file and I'm gonna re-image again my new computer um, or my new hard drive the 750 gig hard drive that I got so just uh, you know hope I didn't lose you um, in all this I'm just doing three different things um, but all contained in one video so take it as you like alright so we'll be right back alright so I've uh, just completed uh, creating my image and so uh, here is the image file here on my old 500 gig drive here that I've named 500 gig storage uh, this was my this used to be my main hard drive here right so I formatted it and um, uh, using it now to store an image of my hard drive and it's compressed it down to about 122 gigs if you remember it was originally 165 gigs uh, so it compressed it down and so this is the file here one very large image file right so now what I'm gonna do is uh, start up Macrium reflect again and I'm gonna create a bootable disk um, and you have a couple of options uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a uh, bootable rescue media clicking on this button right up here right and you have a couple of options um, if you want to do a uh, Windows um, pre-installation environment it's basically uh, if you've ever installed Windows it's that uh, um, the, the options where you can choose uh, where you format your hard drive you choose what hard drive to install Windows on and everything it's sort of that kind of look uh, and feel of everything and um, if you want to go with that uh, environment you can uh, choose to uh, download the 1.7 gig download that you'll need um, basically that's like all the drivers and stuff and the packs that they put on there in order for uh, that environment to load in the RAM and to recognize all of your components and hardware and all that stuff right and uh, if you do that then it's a 1.7 gig download um, if you want a standard Windows pre-installation environment rescue media you can only get this one uh, without having to download um, if you have the full edition of Mac and Reflect which means a paid version right so uh, you could choose either or to do that um, but I'm actually just gonna go with the easy Linux version uh, maybe um, if you want to do the Windows PE um, and you try it out let me know how that goes and how it works or if you want to make a video on it that'd be great but um, I'm gonna just do the Linux version so click on next and I need to put a CD in here um, let's see what advanced settings we have okay so there's uh there's a compatibility mode select this option if you're having troubles booting the rescue CD debug mode uh, I'm just gonna take a chance and go with uh, what I got here oh and you can create an ISO image file which is really nice and convenient right so I need to insert my media alright so I've inserted a DVD although I think all you really need is a, a CD um, but I don't have any laying around so now it's uh, burning the disk and uh, once it's done what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, restart my computer with my boot CD in there um, my hard drive with my image file is plugged in and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, re-image my new hard drive um, with an image from my old hard drive just to go through the process to show you what it looks like alright so I'm uh, booting the uh, disk here and um, make sure that you have your optical drive uh, as your uh, primary boot 
option and so uh, it's going to automatically select um, Macarium Reflect for uh, booting into. Well, there is also options for testing your memory, which is a cool feature. All right, so we're booted into here, and uh, we're at the Restore Wizard. I'm going to click on Next, and then uh, you're going to click around on My Computer, and you're going to look for uh, your image that you created. And for some reason, it uh, it lists my hard drive as Drive C. So don't go by this; just go by um, uh, wherever your your image is. Right, <clears throat> so it gives you a little bit of information about what um, the image you're restoring to what it is, and so we click on next, and then that's fine. Those are two selected. Yes, that's what we want. Uh, the partitions, we want both of them, and then click on next again, and so the target disk is going to be um, that 700 gig hard drive that's in there right now that's the only other drive you would get any other drive uh, that's plugged in but again I recommend that you don't use any other drives and just make it simple for yourself so click on next and then click on restore are you sure yes uh, I've been creating a clone disk of this PC to restore disk contains Windows operating. So it's giving you uh, a warning. It's saying, hey, that drive that I'm copying to has a Windows partition. Um, you should be careful. But I already know that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. And now it is putting, restoring that image that I created. Right? and overwriting the hard drive my 700 gig hard drive that I have on there and then uh, that's pretty much it so that pretty much concludes this video I know it's pretty much like three videos in one so uh, whatever it is your situation is in um, just use um, the right one for this and uh, Please comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. And thanks for watching. Catch you later.